Hi everyone. Today I've got a task for you. I'm going to read the start of a story and I'd like you to finish it. You can choose to write what happens next. That would be the middle and ending to the story. If you don't fancy writing today, then you could draw what happens next. And you've got two options. You could either draw the major scenes or you could turn it into a comic book where you show each little action and you can show what the characters say and feel using speech bubbles and thought clouds. Make sure that you are able to listen carefully to the beginning. You might want to make some notes so that you can remember where the story takes place and what's happening at the beginning. Okay, when we're ready, we'll start. Now that you've got your pen and paper and you're ready to listen to the beginning of the story, I've got a couple of tips that might help you write a great ending. First of all, it's really important that you use interesting adjectives to describe your nouns. Also, remember to use exciting verbs. So instead of went, try using things like crept or dashed or shuffled, perhaps. When something happens, make sure that we know why and how. If we don't, then it might not make sense. All right, let's go for the first one then. I'd like you to have this, my art teacher said, as he gave me a small bundle. What is it? I asked, taking the gift in my hands. It's a special bottle of ink and a paintbrush, he explained. My grandfather gave it to me and asked that I pass it along to a student who thinks creatively. Thank you, I replied as I tucked the gift into my backpack. One last thing, he said. These will make very realistic paintings. Start small. That evening, I unwrapped the brush and ink and opened a notebook. Start small, I reminded myself and painted the flowering branch of a tree. Strange. I thought I felt a breeze and I smelled something blossoming. I added a bird far off in the distance. Was I imagining it or did I hear wings beating? I dipped the brush into the ink, and then... And this is where I'd like you to continue that story. Again, you can write the end of the story, or you could draw the rest of the story. I look forward to reading or looking at it.